just a quick video today to tell you a little bit about what's going to be acceptable and not acceptable in terms of comments on this channel it's a tiny channel I've got what 1400 subscribers uh, more than I ever thought I would have and uh, I like to talk a lot mainly about shortwave radio along with some amateur radio stuff generally and uh, as those of you that have been following the channel will know I've been playing around with uh, the Chinese made ATS-20 and ATS-25 uh, radios they seem to have been quite popular for whatever reason and uh, most people have uh, responded quite posit positively to, to the videos um, people have had different experiences of the radios I've had one or two people um, comment to the effect that I've been a bit too hard on them and they're actually very good uh, receivers um, but the last video here the ATS 25 firmware update um, I've had another sort of unpleasant comment you might say um, from someone who, who comments sporadically on the channel um, and I'll just uh, show you the text of the comment if you haven't seen it it's still up there for everyone to see and this is from a, a commenter who calls himself Peter Armitage. I don't know whether that's his real name. Don't know anything about him. But anyway, um, he tells me, you're at it again. So there you go, I'm at it again. Now, in the uh, the video on the firmware update, I commented that I found it uh, that the Arduino software wasn't logical to use and that some, including myself, found it a bit intimidating to do the update. Okay, so let's hold my hands up for that one. So Peter says, uh, yes. So he's agreeing with me. Agreeing that I'm intimidated, I guess. But Peter says that I, like many others, program the Arduino devices. So this this is good. With no problems. How is that? Well, it's presumably because he knows what he's doing, I suppose. He goes on to say, anyway, quite simply put, because I understand the program language and how it works. So well, I, I guess right there. You obviously don't. Now, up to this point, I fully agree with Peter. Uh, you know, no problems with that at all. And if that was the comment, then I'd just reply and say, yeah, you're, you're, absolutely, you're absolutely right, Peter. Unfortunately, he then goes on to say, as you can see here, you're an ignorant bastard of the worst type. Not even the best type. You're... Now, uh, those of you that... Uh, I've done a little bit of grammar in the English language. We'll probably point out the, the errors in, in what Peter's writing here, but uh, never mind, we'll, we'll, we'll carry on. You're in no position to advise or instruct others about this subject. Oddly enough, this video, I didn't actually instruct anyone to do anything. Um, and I actually pointed you all to uh, Tony Albus's um, video, which is very, very useful when it comes to um, updating the ATS-25. And that's what I use as um, as my starting point. So there you go. But uh, anyway, Peter uh, kindly tells me, if you don't know how to create a sketch to make something function, find someone who can. Well, yeah, I did. And that's why I uploaded their firmware to my ATS-25. And it worked very well. That's the, the Bernard Bins uh, firmware that I've uploaded there. But anyway, find someone who can before you open your pathetic cake hole. Okay. And make statements like that. What a wanker you are. 5 and 9 plus 10 dBs. 73 CQ CQ for a signal report. So that was um, Peter Armitage's response to this video. I guess he's entitled to an opinion. Um, but what I won't have in future. I've let a couple of them through. But the um, expletives, the abusive language, if, if you want to hurl personal abuse at me, this isn't a, you know, I'm not going to do it on my own channel. I'd be foolish to, to allow it. Um, the strange thing about Peter Armitage here is if you go to uh, Peter's um, YouTube channel, which we'll just do, um, there's no content. There's nothing. Nothing at all. So although Peter uh, claims certainly to be a very knowledgeable fellow, in fact, he did tell me at one stage he could design um, a radio himself based around the SI4732 chip. Um, there's no evidence that Peter's ever done anything. Um, it may well be that he's got a lot of knowledge. It's a shame, honestly, Peter, that you 
you know want to comment in this way um, why not share the knowledge um, I've had some very good responses from people who have genuinely got a lot of knowledge on this subject and those of you that watch the ATS 20 series of videos uh, will know that Ricardo Karate um, who's written a number of uh, sketches and updates for the ATS 20 he's um, he's commented on a um, couple of my videos and he's pointed out um, uh, some some very uh, useful information some very good advice and um, those of you that um, are also radio amateurs and have seen the uh, a, the GT77 and um, DM1801 videos that I've done uh, Roger the um, Australian uh, gentleman uh, VK3 can't think of his call sign just at the moment but he commented on a couple of my videos and offered me some useful advice as well which which was great and that's one of the reasons I like to do this channel because we get some useful information some some useful comments coming in unfortunately Peter Peter Armitage you're not one of them so come on do us a favor share your knowledge and um, I don't know improve your grammar and moderate your bad language please anyway thanks for watching 73 uh, CQ CQ for a signal report as Peter says and goodbye for now